The line of duty, a Plant City police officer remains hospitalized at this hour. Investigators say two felons shot at him and ran him over during a traffic stop. The crime spree continued as the dangerous duo took off from Plant City, carjacked someone, and tried to hide out in nearby Polk County. That's when Polk County deputies got involved. Tonight, one suspect is dead, the other in the hospital. Both career criminals, both extremely dangerous, according to the sheriff. That Plant City police detective suffered some severe injuries, too. He is recovering right now at Lakeland Regional Health. And that's where we find eight on your size, Melanie Michael. So, Mel, tell us how he's doing at this hour. Good evening to you both. That detective right now is in ICU, suffering multiple internal injuries. A terrifying day for Bay Area law enforcement. But I want to introduce to you a thug, a pedigreed thug. It all started with this felon fresh out of prison and his girlfriend, a couple causing chaos in two counties. So dangerous, they came close to killing multiple people, including a Plant City police detective. We deal with this type of evil, getting them off the street. And just because they did this to our officer today, we're going to get them for him, and then when he gets better, he's going to come back to work and take the next one to jail. The terror began just before lunchtime when Plant City police noticed something suspicious and stopped the two felons who retaliated by shooting at officers and running over one of them. Seconds later, those suspects carjacked someone while on the run, then crossed the county line and ended up at a mobile home park in Mulberry, where a Polk County deputy, just 26 years old, stopped their crime spree. A witness saved his life by yelling out, he's got a gun. Sheriff Grady Judd says his deputy had no choice but to use deadly force. All this, according to police. Meanwhile, neighbors were terrified. I spend a lot of time away at work. Uh, my wife's on her own and she's disabled. So, you know, that, that's, that's a little bit of, of, of a concern. So here's how things stand tonight with those two felons. Of course, Aaron Phillips is deceased. His girlfriend is here in Lakeland recovering from gunshot wounds. And that police detective from Plant City, Keith, he is in ICU, as I mentioned. A lot of folks pulling for him. Yeah. We're hoping he will be just fine. Grady Judd going to hold a news conference tomorrow updating the situation. As that news becomes available, we will, of course, bring it to you. Thank you. Melanie Michael reporting live for us tonight. Sheriff Grady Judd had a lot to say about the two suspects involved in this case, along with a message for lawmakers in Tallahassee about passing laws that could set criminals like these free. You can watch the entire news conference right now on the News Channel 8 app and WFLA.com.